Hi guys and welcome to another episode of a Grim's Beaker MOD here on FIFA 18. Right, where did we leave it off last time? We left it off last time with a fantastic victory over Real Madrid, which was a shock win um, that we did. Then we obviously we played Derby and we played Fulham in the last episode. Now I've advanced it on quite a bit to try and basically just skip through the season a lot faster. So there are some games that you're going to miss guys, um, but I've left it at a good point ready to start today's episode so let's quickly like go through the games that you've missed right Millwall was um, a win 1-0 straight away then obviously we played um, Ruben Gazan got them um, a draw one all that was away it was a tough one it was in the snow and it was kind of a tricky game that one then we played Middlesbrough another draw 0-0 um, zero, zero. then we were into the, a cup game which was the Carabao Cup which we actually beat Brentford 3-0 yeah it all came together kind of like in the last sort of 15 minutes or whatever in um, penalty and then they were trying to push forward and I caught them with a couple of counter attacks into November now. Um, as you can see I've done the whole of November, yeah, um, sorry guys but I wanted to get the, the season like whizzed on and, and faster. So we're up to Nottingham Forest with a good 2-1 victory against them, then it's up against um, Dortmund back in the Champions League, yeah. Got our asses handed to us a little bit there. Dortmund came out and beat us 2-0 um, in that one. So, yeah, it's, it's looking tough in the groups, right? but I'll get to that in a minute. Then we take on um, Reading um, and we lost. So, yeah, went on a bit of a, I don't know, bad bad run there like with a couple of losses. Um, just trying to bounce back. And we did against Bristol with a 2-1 victory, which was could have gone... Um, badly because they got the early goal on that one. Then we were playing Brentford in the actual league then rather than obviously in the cup and we lost. They got revenge on us, yes. Um, so that's not good. Back to Ruben Kazan. They came to our ground and we taught them a lesson basically. They obviously didn't like playing uh, um, at our ground and we and it wasn't snowing and it just fell right for us and we beat them 3-0. So that was great. Then it's Bolton. Beat them 3-0 which was a great win and now we are like getting closer to the games of the day as you can see what we're going to be starting with but we won't get to that just yet because we've got Luton Town now in the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup yes we have won which puts us into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup okay guys the game the top the tournament that we won in our very first season then we took on Ipswich and yeah that was not a good game lost that 3-0 yeah they I don't know, we just, I put out a team that wasn't strong enough because of the game that we're going to be starting with today, so the Ipswich one had a very weakened side um, because I wanted all my key players for today's kickoff game, which is the final group match in the Champions League, yes, it is away in Spain at the Bernabeu against the mighty Real Madrid um, we did beat them at our ground but I'm sure they're going to want revenge the other game that we're going to get is ex-Premier League team Huddersfield who came down um, so that is who we're going to be taking on today guys they're the two games that you're going to see today right Champions League now you want to see what the group stage is like look what it's like yeah Real Madrid beat Dortmund and um, which puts them now top we are on the same points as Dortmund if we beat Real Madrid then that will guarantee us the next round the round of 16 because even if Dortmund win <coughs> we'll have um, 11 points which is more than Real Madrid so obviously Ruben Kazan um, are out of it so that's why I'm thinking Dortmund will win that game so a draw, I don't think it's going to be good enough for us. I think it's definitely, we've got to try and get a win. Um, you know, goal difference is not in our favour either way, like, you know what I mean? So um, that's not going to help us out. But, like, yeah, that is where we are at in the group stage, guys. It would be amazing to get to the round of 16. It's amazing that we've even got to this stage of the Champions League um, and that we've still got a, a possible mathematical chance of getting through. Right. Here's the side then, it's going to do the business. Platt up front, Kleinheiser on left, Smits on the right. My voice is seems a bit weird. 
I'm getting like a sore throat or something coming in. Sorry about that, guys. Nedelev in the cam roll, which he seems to have made his own now, taking over the Ben Wood Woodburn roll, which we haven't technically missed. Nedelev stepped up. He's done really well. I don't think we've missed Ben Woodburn. I think we've done pretty well. Then we've got Alec and Cusense alongside him. Alec being all sort of like, you know, man mountain in the, in the midfield to, to, to clear things up. Then we've got Ganea. James, Gomez and Devlin. As you can see, Gomez is up to 77 rated now, so that's cool, and so is Platt as well. And then we've got obviously Ripley and Goal. Right, so then, let's see if we can do a miracle again and um, beat Real Madrid, but in their own backyard this time. So here we go, guys. Well, magnificent stadium. One of the stadiums that I've loved to have gone to in my lifetime but unfortunately that's never going to happen and we haven't got the rain in spain we've actually got the snow in spain yes it is snowing um now that could cause us a problem because it did when we played ruben kazan so just hoping it causes them just as much problems as well but look at this grinsby town lining up in the bernabeo that's incredible absolutely incredible stuff Tony Cruz there, ready to get things off and running. Um, here's Diego Costa, and here's Immobile, back to Modric. Okay, let's see how we get on here. Here's Carver Hell. I'm sure they're going to want revenge, and I'm sure they're going to want to do it in front of their home team. Okay, Carver Hell gets it into Immobile. Good ball across here. That's a great ball. Costa's there, but he's offside. James now. Here's Gomez. Alec lays this off, here's Gane, and now got a bit of space to run into. You get a ball through here to Nedlev, he's cut inside. Can he get this across? It's a chance, Smits. Oh, he went for the more of the acrobatic rather than the normal, just hit it. I don't know why he's done this. Why has he gone for, I just wanted him to just hit it normally, and he's gone for some over acrobatic scissor kick. Oh, back healed. Nice. Here's Immobile. Oh, and that's well done by Alec. Oh, come on. How's that a foul? Took the ball. Here's Cruz. Gomez gets there, but gives it away to Modric. Asensio doing a lot of trickery. Oh. No. It's a hell of a goal. No, doing a lot of little drag backs and stuff like that. Then he just lets fly, pulls it there, takes it round, and hits this keeper. I don't know. I think it's just just too good. Yeah, that's a shame. All right, here we go. Got to work cut out for us. Nicely done. Here's Nedlev now. Can he find the perfect pass? It's Platt. Oh, it's a great chance. Come on. Klein Heisler. Oh, come on. Oh. Here's Nedlev again. Nicely done. Alec gets this ball across. Brought down. Klein Heisler. Oh, just couldn't bring it down. He just couldn't get control of it. Great opportunities here. Alec now. Come on. Cousins. It's Platt. It's Alec. Botang's there and I can't. It just wasn't strong enough to get it off him. Go on here. Oh, great header from Kusant. Nedlev now with the ball through. Not going to be able to outrun. It's Platt getting pushed forward. It's a lovely turn. Oh, cover hell. He's still got it, Platt. Can he get a ball across? Oh, Navas is there. Alec now. He's gone here. Cuts this in. Here's Nedlev. Kusant. Turns. Can he get past Kroos? Gets the shot away. Oh. Goes over. Just on half time. <laughs> it's just like this all comes down to having obviously better skilled players, you know, better players that have got shooting ability and stuff like that. It shows that we, we can we can cause them problems that's something but ah damn it Alec Nedlev nicely done here's Klein Heisler 
Here's Nedlev. Kusance. It's a good turn. Can he get the shot away? Come on! The youngster has done it. Wow. Great start to the second half. It's a lovely little turn in the box. Gets it here. There's the turn. And boom. Nicely done. Beats Botang. And beats Navas. And we are back in this game. And now Dortmund will, and Real Madrid will be sweating because it's Real Madrid that are possibly going to be sweating more. Um, because they're the team that we can overhaul, basically. Here's Ned Lev now. Klein Heisler. Got to go back here. Can't keep up that pace. Okay, Alec inside. Ah, caught out, but no, Gomez was there. Here's Kusons. Nicely done. Nedlev. Can you get it back into Kusons? He's gone for it again. <gasps> oh, he went for it again. I don't. Oh man, it just. Oh, it just came across his body, and as he hit it. Right, even though Kusan's had a really good game, he's tired, his, his stamina's gone, so Jankowski's going to come on from him. And I'm going to bring Connor Chaplin in, because he's quicker than Felix Platt up front, and I'm just thinking he could maybe be quicker than Boateng and Varane and, and get him behind. That's what I'm hoping. Here's Costa, Chabalas. Can't get the ball off him, can't get the ball off him. It's Ronaldo. Oh, my God, Ripley. Couldn't get the ball off him. Sensio lays it off. God damn it. Here's a Bamiang. Oh, they've got a corner. Oh, this is not good. Come on. Marcello gets this in. Oh. I mean, what, what am I supposed to do? He's not like he's not man marked. He had two players around him. Hits the crossbar, goes in. And our Champions League is is done. I'm afraid for this season, which is it's a shame. But it was good that we got, did as, as well as we could, considering the size of our club. Um, but who knows? Like you know, um, we, we'll be back in this competition at some point with a with a much better side um, and could take on I mean we've done all right I think to take on Real Madrid beat them 1-0 at our ground to, to hold them for this length of time oh come on there's no way is that a foul how is it a foul you tell me I'm stood in front of him and I kick the ball foul I just <laughs> We're gonna take time. Yeah, here we go. Just gonna like waste time, aren't they? Okay, Gane has cut this out. Here we go. Alec now inside. Here's a chance for Smith. It's a good chance. It's Connor Chaplin. Okay, we've got time. Okay, we have got time. Right. Okay, it's gonna be tight. <laughs> See, that's why I put him on. It's why I put him on. It's the speed of like. What you know that he's caught the late defenders um, out here, and a great finish as well. Come on, let's get the ball off him. Let's get the ball off him. Rodriguez, they're just knocking it about. Let's get the ball off him. That's all we need. Come on, get the ball. Get the ball. Give me the ball. There we go, Nedlev. Come on, there we go, Kleinheisler. He's only on it. No, it's not. It's Chaplin. Pull it back. Knocks it back. Knocks it across. Chance. Oh! No! Yes! What the fuck? That just happened. I mean... <laughs> God! We hit the post. It came back. And then I curled it to hit the other post. What the hell? Hits the post here, and why is he just not put it in? No, I'm going to curl and hit the other post. But Chaplin has just come on 
Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, I t that's just nuts. He's just literally come on and has just possibly put us into the round. I'm just talking about us going out and now we're in the position where we could actually be going through. What the frig is this about? This is not scripted in any way. How can I script this shit? It's, n it's not even possible. Come on though. Come on. Hold on. Jankowski. Well, you blow the whistle. Just hit it up there. Just, just hit it down there. There it is. We've just beaten Real Madrid in their home ground. And we've just knocked him out, possibly. Oh my god. Wow, this Grimsby side are just all about drama, aren't they? They are all about the drama. I mean, come on. That last goal was just crazy. I hit the post, it bounces back. And then Smith, instead of just hit it into the empty net, oh no, I'm going to curl it and hit the other post. And then it can bounce back and then Chaplin goes, no, I'll do it right, I'll show you what to do. 2-1 down in the 88th minute. We were. 2-1 down in the 88th minute and we have come back and we have not only drawn, but we've won. I, 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 <sighs> wow. And Connor Chaplin deserves man of the match. I mean, he's come off the bench and has just shown Felix Platt what to do. Well, no, I mean, no, that's that's a harsh, that's a harsh. Felix just hasn't got pace, and I know that he's got the strength and he's has got his shooting, so it's not that. It's just that Chaplin has got pace. So yeah, um, Nedlev just was awesome today, um, and so was Kusant. I mean, Kusant to me just just played a blinder and Ned Lev did you're amazing that is just an amazing I mean even Ripley and goal and it pulled off a couple of great saves right so it's Huddersfield next where are they um, in regards to the league they are not doing very well down in 20th but I mean that'll be the typical now won't it it'll be like we've come off like such an amazing win against Real Madrid and then we'll probably go and lose now to Huddersfield no well, I mean Huddersfield were in the Premier League last season so it's still going to be a tough game, guys, even though they're doing fairly poorly in this league at the moment. But, yeah. Right then, so the other group games were played in the Champions Cup. So the draw for the round of 16 has been made. So do you want to see who we've got? Um, of course you do. Here we go, guys. Would you believe it? We've got Bayer Leverkusen. Yes. Who Liverpool played in their round of 16. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, isn't it? So yeah, we are playing Bayer Leverkusen. Um, Liverpool did get through. They're up against Inter Milan. Um, you can just about see Liverpool, but you can't see Inter Milan. But that's who they're playing. And then behind me, you've got uh, Manchester United against Villarreal. And you've got Manchester City against Real Madrid. Big one there. Um, then you've got Barca and Marseille over back over to the side. Chelsea against Valencia. Bayern against Juventus. A big one that is. And then down the bottom corner is PSG against Schalke. So, yeah, um, Bayer Leverkusen, um, who knows? I mean, just who knows now, to be honest. I just, you just basically just go along for this ride now, isn't it? Like, and, and, and to see who we've got in the semi finals of the Carabao Cup, I will just show you that. It is Bradford. Yes, we could have got Manchester United and we could have got Everton, but those two are playing each other. So, Bradford. I think it's a good draw. We could get to Wembley, guys. We could get to Wembley because obviously it's going to be a double leg affair with the Carabao Cup. Um, and who knows? Season three could give us the Carabao Cup again, um, which is which is possible, and could book us a place back in the Europa League. You know what I mean for next for next season, which will be which will be great. Um, but there you go, guys. Things are definitely going really well for Grimsby at the moment um, and I've also just received 16 well the club has just received 16 and a half million saying that obviously these funds are being made, made available for next season I bet you any money I don't get anywhere near that figure but it's just great that we're getting those sort of figures now um, for, for doing well so the squad that is going to take on um, Huddersfield I've put Colin Chaplin back up front because of his amazing heroic exploits 
Um, I think he deserves to play. Um, Bowden is back in. Um, I've got him playing. Skipper Case has come in in place of Nedlev because obviously um, Smith and him were more tired. I've got Grimmer in in place of Devlin. But the rest of them, I'm really not too bad. Isn't it? a little bit off the like stamina, so keeping them as they are because obviously I think Huddersfield will give us a, a tough game. But here we go, guys. Um, against Huddersfield. So playing at the Kirkley Stadium. Yeah, I've got another stadium that's in the game now. Come on. Can't get the ball off him right now. Oh no! Press the wrong button. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh god, I needed did a, like a, a Griezmann thing then. Pressed it with Gomez and shouldn't have done. Oh my god. Okay, I just feel should not be 20th. <laughs> Little dink ball in, Alec gets it, comes down to skip a case, hits it. Oh, just wide though. Okay, Cousins. Knocks this forward. Here's Chaplin. It's a good ball through. Here we go, it's skip a case, chance. Oh, great save from Coleman. Dennis is there. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying, like when the game does this, but I understand why it does. Oh, Smith. Skip a case now. Come on, Klein Heisler. Get a good ball in. It's not a bad chance, Sanka's there. It was not a bad ball in, but it's just that Chaplin was a little bit too small. Alec now, it's a good chance here. Surely, Cousins. <gasps> Keeper gets down well. Coleman with a great stretching save there. Wow. Here's Alec now. Cousins lays this off to Grimmer. Grimmer inside. Here's Skipper Case. Bowden now. Can he get round the back here? Holding it off. Can you get the ball in? Get a corner maybe? Ah, oh, come on. Yes. I thought that would come off me then. Moody, Moy, I should say, is going to go on. And Emilio is going to go off. Here's Monet. Here's Mooney. Nicely blocked. But both defenders, my central defenders, have both gone for the block and fell into each other. Oh, get a foot in. Something. Come on, get a foot on this. Oh, it's Joe Gomez. Come on. Oh, come on, how's that possible? Oh my god. How is this possible? Tom Ince is now going to come on. Freshen up that midfield, I think. Alec and Cousin's going to make way here for Dezel and Jankowski. Come on, Dezel. Oh, come on. Why can't we get the... When we get hold of the ball, we can't pass. It's like right there, see? It's like that first touch thing just lets us down massively. Good ball out here, come on. Here we go, Kleinheisler. Gets the ball across. Great chance, Bowden! Oh, I thought he was going to be the hero again. Oh, I thought he was going to be the hero again, but he wasn't. There's Anker. Oh, Connor Choplin does really well. Bowden now. Stay on side. Skip a case. Oh, he's offside. Oh my god, how long was that before it blew? See, the referee should be blowing as soon as like he's like just about to take his first touch, not his third or his fourth touch. Get ahead on it. Uh, Hog now. Here's Mooney. Oh, Grim is there. Lays this out. Ishmael. It's a great ball through to Chaplin. Come on, finish it! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, this guy is just becoming a massive, massive hero. It's all about this it, man. He don't. He only. <laughs> what the hell is this kid on? Wow, we're getting so many heroes this season. We've got Bowden, who's a hero. We never got like Chaplin, who's a hero. I mean. Ah, uh, well, he is basically saying to me, the boss, going, "Hey, boss, don't play Felix, just play me." And I'm like, "Oh shit, um, yeah." Wow. I think I'm sorry, but I think we deserve it. That's three points, guys, and I honestly think when we look at the stats that we deserve this. Um, and that, that kid right there, Connor Chaplin, who we brought in from Portsmouth, um, is turning in to be a great signing for us. Um, he's not only kept us in the Champions League, he's now just given us three points in a very tough game. 
um, against Huddersfield. Um, so, wow, what a time to get it. And like, there you go. They have just proved it. They only had one shot on target. You know, the, the, the possession was even, but we, we created more of the chances when it comes down to it. And second game in the row, he's, he's done it. He's got man of the match. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, anyone else that I suppose that I think Joe Gomez had a good game. I mean, I know he picked up a yellow card or whatever, but um, yeah, good, good performance. That's all I can say. Um, and Preston lost. Oh my God, Preston lost to Fulham. Wow. Okay, I don't think that puts us top. No, it doesn't. It closes the gap though. We have a, another video coming up on, on Friday for Liverpool and that will be the one before my real life team, Liverpool themselves, take on Real Madrid on Saturday in a fantastic final, hopefully, and we come away with trophy, which is what will be awesome. But I'll talk more about that on Friday, guys. Anyway, thank you so much, um, like I say, for, for tuning in. Um, We've got semi-final, uh, let's see, actually, t talking what we've got, uh, where are we? I will go through a few of these games here, so, da -da -da. yeah, there's the first leg of the semi-final, which I think what I'll do is that will be our next one for next week. I'll do the first leg of that um, with the game against Oxford, and depending on how I feel, might even throw in Forest as well um, for that one. Yeah, and we've also probably going to have in here somewhere FA Cup because that's not appeared yet, has it? So third round of the FA Cup might jump in here somewhere. And where that's going to appear? There, maybe that Saturday, eleventh, possibly. Don't know. But anyway, guys, if the FA Cup does jump in there, then. It could end up being like FA Cup Carabao Cup episode for next week. Anyway, guys, you have a great um, rest of the week. Hope you tune in for Friday. Um, if you don't, you'll never walk alone, guys. Come on, you Reds, um, for Saturday. That's for the people that don't tune in on Friday. But obviously, you guys that do tune in Friday, we'll talk more about that um, on on that episode. So take care, and I will catch you next time. This is Dave from Mongo Gaming signing off. Cheers.